trust or the lack thereof, one of the elements that really stood out in our exclusive News Nation poll. Nearly 80% of Americans admit they are concerned about the pandemic, but who they trust to tell them about it is mixed. We know one thing, that they don't trust the media, unfortunately, and only about 15% say they trust the president right now. So who do they trust for answers that could be potentially life-saving? News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin, live in Manhattan tonight for The Answer. Tom. You know, uh, over here in Manhattan, Marnie, feeling a little bit personally attacked right now, but it makes sense when you think about it. It shouldn't be a surprise when it comes to questions of their health, something so important. They trust someone they have a personal relationship with about their health, their doctor. But it's the level of distrust for nearly everyone else here that really caught our eye. So we went to someone we trust, a doctor to find out why. Well, basically, there is a lot of confusion, and it's understandable because the information is changing. We're in a very fluid pandemic as far as new variants, new information being discovered. So this causes a great deal of confusion for a lot of patients and understandably. But what we have to do is just keep putting information out there. So when you put it that way, it makes an awful lot of sense, right? Here's the question we put to a thousand registered voters. When it comes to information about COVID-19, which of the following sources would you say you trust? Select all that apply. The margin of error, about 5.8%. Dr. Anthony Fauci coming in at about 30.1%, 30.8%. Uh, federal health authorities uh, like the CDC and the FDA, about 50%. Your doctor way out in front at 63.2%. President Biden. 15 and a half, the media absolutely trailing at 10.2%. Honestly, hurts a little, but doctors say stuff right now for them too. I do admit it can be a little bit discouraging at times. I mean, we're, we're telling people to get vaccinated. People are getting vaccinated. Then people are getting what's called breakthrough infections where they get infected even though they got vaccinated. We encourage them to get boosters. They get the boosters. Then some get the breakthrough infections. But then I look at the data and I remind the patients, if you'll notice, even though some people are getting the breakthrough infections, the people that are getting severely ill overwhelmingly, the people that are losing their lives overwhelmingly are the people that did not get vaccinated. So bottom line, Dr. Quinn says, uh, stay the course, trust the numbers and make sure that no matter who you trust, that that person and you also trust science. Numbers don't lie, he says, Marnie, although looking at those poll results, some of us sometimes maybe we wish they did. <laughs> That's right. It does sting a little, Tom. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.